Life Audio. Hi, friends. Welcome to Breathe, the Stress Less Podcast. I'm Bonnie Gray, your soul care guide for this time designed just for you to restore calm to your emotions and to your body. You'll receive a loving word of affirmation from scripture, God's word, and you'll also pick up a practical soul care tip, a simple action you can take to help restore calm and peace to your emotions and your body. Well, last week, I took a little break because I brought my son, Josh, the oldest son, to college and helped him move into his dorm. And it was a really transitional milestone in life for myself as a parent. And also just to see that I've been reminded that life is full of transitions and we are constantly having to follow Jesus into the unknown And so, friend, I just want to ask you, when you face uncertainty, when you don't know what's ahead of you, what helps you anchor your soul and spirit? What helps you steady your steps? And I want to talk about one obstacle we often face when we are making transitions in life or we're facing a difficult challenge, and it's that inner critical voice. It could be your inner critic or it could be voices of other people in your life, whether it's in the past or in the present, that seem to cause you to doubt yourself or second guess maybe what you feel God is guiding you to do, make changes or be more peaceful or more joyful in your life. And during those quiet moments with God, We remember what God is saying to us, but during the times when we're discouraged and we have those negative thoughts, how do you quiet those negative thoughts? How do you stop the overthinking? Well, I'm excited because today I'm going to do just that. I'm going to encourage you with a simple way to quiet the negative thoughts and to refocus your emotions and the health and wellness of your body on God's life-giving words to you and to hear him fresh anew. So we'll hear a quick word from our sponsor and let's relax together with God's love and peace. Well, we want to start out with our breath prayer for today and for this week. A breath prayer is a wonderful way where we breathe deeply and slowly so we can signal our bodies to relax and to activate the rest response. It's a way to just stop the stress hormone cortisol and to help our heart rates to slow down, give ourselves a chance to meditate on God's loving word. We combine God's loving word in scripture and we draw closer to God. Whatever is going around us, we can pause and draw closer to God's loving voice. Today's breath prayer comes to us from Jeremiah chapter 31, verse 3. I have loved you with an everlasting love. I have drawn you with unfailing kindness. Which word in this beautiful word from God captures your attention. Let that word be a token of God's love and affection for you as you go about your day. Now we're going to breathe in as we inhale. You whisper to yourselves, I have loved you with an everlasting love. And exhale, I have drawn you with unfailing kindness. Breathe in. I have loved you with an everlasting love. Breathe out. I have drawn you with unfailing kindness. Well, for me, I am really drawn to the word kindness. And it's so interesting that 
In this verse, in Jeremiah 31, 3, we're reminded that God loves us with an everlasting love. And it's interesting that it is tied with the concept and the truth that God is drawing you close because of his kindness. So friend, when you're feeling those pressing critical voices, whether there are harsh words we say to ourselves or harsh words that others have said to us. This is one of the keys is to speak with gentleness to ourselves because God's love is gentle. Well, how do we put aside those critical voices and listen to God's loving whispers? Well, one way I want to recommend to you because it helped me heal on my journey of healing from anxiety and panic attacks. And through that journey, I also experienced times of depression. Because, you know, when we come to face the truth and be honest about the things that give us anxiety and we try to release them, sometimes, and it's actually healthy, I learned to feel those momentary feelings of sadness because we need to grieve When we come into the truth of how we really feel or maybe what we need, we realize we may have to do some new changes. We may have to step out in a new way and those things can feel overwhelming. But praise be to God. We can allow God's kindness back into our hearts. Being kind to ourselves doesn't come naturally because The way the world works when we make a mistake or maybe we don't feel we're good enough is we are harder on ourselves, right? We chastise ourselves or we just think about all the things that have gone wrong and the mind thinks of all the negative experiences and it kind of keeps us frozen or stuck and we don't want to try anything new. But the goodness of God is always there and it never expires. It's never too late. So how do we speak to ourselves with gentleness when we run into those moments in our day where we're just faced with a frustration or maybe we wish things weren't going a certain way and we're hard on ourselves? We need to turn to God's gentle words. So our soul care tip for this week, when you see your thoughts are going critical or negative, I want to share one secret with you. When you see your thoughts are going critical or negative, I want to share one secret with you. Be gentle with yourself. It's a phrase I've been resting and breathing into as I made a new way of living as God's beloved beloved child. And that's who you are. Now, it's easier to focus on getting things done. When you're feeling that negative thoughts and feeling that affect you, we tend to focus on getting things done or taking care of others or pushing yourself harder. But actually, that releases cortisol. It's a stress hormone that even though you're getting things done in your mind, in your left brain, but your right brain where your emotions are, that affects how you feel, it actually increases the stress. So what's really important is that we want to make space to be vulnerable about our needs and our desires. We want to share the real stories that are happening. It might seem counterintuitive that when we're feeling self-critical and negative, that one way to lower and quiet those negative thoughts is actually to be honest and to write out those stories and to talk to God about what's really happening. Now, isn't it easier to just be busy (laughs) or to criticize ourselves? But in fact, science shows us that God created us to calm our emotions and to turn off those negative thoughts when we can be honest. So our soul care tip is to journal for 10 minutes. When stressors trigger our inner critic, Our brain and emotions become overwhelmed by mental distress. We try to push away the negative thoughts and feelings to relieve the stress. 
But applying this pressure actually increases anxiety's grip, strengthening negative brain pathways. In contrast, researchers found that expressive writing about stressful events reduces intrusive and avoidant thoughts about negative events and improves our working memory. This is one of the reasons why we sometimes get really scattered brain when we're stressed. What's really interesting is that when we write about those stressful events, it actually helps calm us. It's so anti-intuitive, but I think that's what is part of God drawing us to himself with his kindness. We can feel safe with our loving shepherd. Jesus understands everything that's going on, and he loves and accepts us, and he understands how we feel. So by journaling your thoughts and worries, it just takes 10 minutes, your mental and cognitive resources are freed up to better focus and cope more effectively with your stressors and restore calm. In other words, journaling can help you reconnect with yourself and be present with God, and it decreases intrusive negativity and exhale stress. So take some time to reconnect with yourself by putting down into words. It's a powerful way for you to process your emotions. It decreases the intensity of stressors and it quiets that critical self-talk. And it frees you to improve decision-making and you feel more at peace. So as you journal your negative self-talk with God, listen to God's gentle whispers of love and feel his kindness as the Holy Spirit meets you between the pages as you write. Now, I want to invite you later this month on October 21st, that's three weeks away, I'm going to start a new fall quarter course, and it's called Stories of Faith. When you enroll in this course, we will spend nine weeks together. We will write out our stories of faith so that you can feel encouraged and hopeful, especially when you're feeling challenged or you're feeling stressed. It's so powerful to take time to remember the times in our lives where God was a part of your story and you felt God's love and peace. We're going to explore your stories of faith and find your God story. Every week, I'm going to do a short devotional Bible study with you. And in response, we're going to write out our faith stories and we're going to share them together. You know, many times when people talk about faith stories, they talk about sharing them as a witness to others to encourage others. But as we're learning in today's podcast that the way God created us, we can focus on God's presence in our lives. And when we remember those stories of faith, we become encouraged. We are reminded of God's love. And even as we're writing in response to God's word in scripture, we're going to hear God whisper fresh new words for you today. So friend, I want you to sign up. Go to mysoulcareschool.com. Go to mysoulcareschool.com. I want you to sign up because I did this very thing in order for me to heal from anxiety, depression, and panic attacks. Now, I never used to believe in the power of writing. I thought it was just something that was extra that I did, you know, as a little girl journaling. But I realized as I learned more about our nervous system and how we can heal, journaling, writing our stories is very healing to our emotions. And also it lifts our spirit. I have so much more to say, but I'm going to be sharing you practical ways to lower stress and anxiety and to find God's peace in your daily lives. Every week, I'll give you a tip and we're going to journal together and share our stories so we don't have to walk alone. It's so exciting. When I hear your stories of faith, I'm encouraged. And that's what happens. That's the power of being in community and fellowshipping with one another. When we hear each other's God's stories, we can have hope. No matter what situation, we're reminded that God is at work. So sign up at mysoulcareschool.com, mysoulcareschool.com. And I am so excited. 
to start a new fall quarter with you and walk alongside you as your soul care guide. Well, remember that you're loved and you're cherished. Just rest. And I'll see you next time. Breathe, the Stress Less podcast is a production of Life Audio and Salem Media. If you liked what you heard today, please take a second to rate and review this podcast in your favorite podcast app so that more listeners like you can find the show. For more faith-filled, inspirational podcasts, visit us at lifeaudio.com.